What's going on YouTube? This is Max coming back at you once again with another video. This time I have an unboxing video of the KEF R2C's center speakers. If you like this type of content, if you could do me a favor by hitting that like button and that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Before we go ahead and dive into the unboxing video, I first want to say thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for helping me hit a thousand subscribers. Just want to say thank you guys. I have to just, just want to acknowledge, I just want to thank you. I couldn't have done this without you guys and I want to say thank you, thank you again. All right, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. If everyone remember in my previous videos, you saw that I was doing some demoing of the Kef speakers at Best Buy. I kept going to Best Buy pretty much every other weekend just to listen to the Kef speakers. I was listening to Kef, I was listening to BMWs, I was listening to Martin Logan's, and I was looking, listening to Definitive, pretty much almost every speaker that Best Buy had lined up in the Magnolia store. But for some apparent reason, the Kef just kept speaking to me. And so I went ahead and took the plunge and I went ahead and purchased the Kef speakers. So right now I'm only doing the unboxing of the R2C's uh, center speaker, uh, just because for one, I don't have the floor standing speakers for the R uh, R11's yet. They're supposed to be coming in soon with everything that's going on with with COVID and transportation and stuff. A lot of my speakers has been been delayed, so just be patient and I'm definitely gonna do an unboxing later in the future. But to get back into the Kef uh, speakers, one of the reasons why it drove me to go ahead and purchase these speakers was just it just the sound. And, and the aesthetics it looks. Those speakers are some sexy speakers. And and not only that they're great looking speakers, the sound has also blown me away, especially listening to these speakers. So I went ahead and had to purchase these speakers as soon as possible just because of the sound. And that's one thing that drove me into Kef is for my specific use case, I'm gonna be watching movies and playing games. And this, in my opinion, sound better than the BMWs. So I will go into a little bit more details in a future review, but for right now, from just listening to the Kef speakers, I just felt that these are a little bit better than the BMWs. 702s2 specifically that is their competition the bmw 702s2 and i've been going back and forth between both kef r11s and the bmw 702s s2 and from my standpoint i felt that the kefs are warmer compared to the bmws and the bmws felt a little bit more brighter to my ears during the demo that Best Buy was uh, demoing at the Magnolia store. So that was like one of the main drivers why I was going with Kefs on my use case scenario. And then another thing too at Best Buy, the receiver that they was using was a, a Denon 4700 at the time when I was demoing both units. They also had a Marantz, but it was on the same equivalent level as the, the Denon 4700. And now that I have my Yamaha A8A, I can't wait to drive those R11s, those Kef R11s. And so far I have the center speaker and <laughs> if you can probably hear it in my voice, I am, it, it, these are great speakers, so I just can't wait to get the rest of my speakers to give you, to give everyone the full assessment and review of how I feel about it. But so far, I am really happy with Kef. So for the going back into the R2Cs, uh, uh, R2Cs Kefs, one thing I will give everyone a heads up on: they are great sounding center speakers. They are definitely an upgrade from my previous speakers that I have owned in the past. And for me, I think there are 
pretty much top of their class in that price range. But I will say this, uh, as in the center speaker is being as clear and warm as it is, it also doesn't have, the negative side of this is that it doesn't have a lot of bass to it. Now that's just kind of like my preliminary, just to give everyone a heads up. But comparing that to the BMWs, uh, that's one thing that I think it fails. Well, I'm going to say it fails. I said that's one of the drawbacks on the center speaker. So just if you guys are interested in the Kef center speakers or Kef speakers in general, uh, well, I want to say the Kefs are 11s, but just a Kef center speaker for the R2Cs, make sure you get a subwoofer for this. So let's talk about the specs for just one minute. So with Kef R2Cs, they're using their UniQ, which helps to reduce the coloration by cutting the resonance and tiny gaps between UniQ elements. So the results are supposed to be more of a pure, more precise sound with stronger imaging. I have noticed that with this center sounding speaker. And also they had this shadow flare, which is supposed to help with a uh, high frequency cabinet diffraction. So if you can see how big this center speaker, it helps with those high frequencies, especially when you listen to movies or listen to music. So it's supposed to help vastly improve when it comes to the details of the sound. If you look at the right and left drivers of the center, it's supposed to help with the impacts when it comes to bass. But so far by using this, for the last couple of days or so. I really haven't heard too much of the bass on the centers. So that's why I mentioned a little bit earlier that a subwoofer will be more helpful for the center. So if you're curious about the size and the weight of the R2Cs, the weight was around 37 or 38 pounds for, for what I've been looking at. So it is a heavy speaker, which is good, especially with all the technology that they put into these speakers as in size wise the height is six by uh six point nine or close to seven inches high and the the width is 21.7 and the depth is at 12.1 so it was just perfect when i put this center speaker inside my bdi tv stand So what do you guys think of the Kev R2C's unboxing video? If you like this type of content, if you could do me a favor by hitting that like button and the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Right now, you probably can't really see the speakers that well, but uh, they are currently inside my BDI TV stands. And the reason why I didn't go into a more full in-depth review is because I want I just got them and I want to wait till they break in a little bit more. But so far, I think they're great speakers. Except for the part where I was mentioning about the bass, that's why you need to have a subwoofer. But as in detail wise, these speakers are really good. And if you guys are curious to know what I'm driving these speakers with, I have a Yamaha A8A receiver that I also did an unboxing uh, last week. So if you guys are curious about that one, you can go ahead and look at that video and check that out, uh, that video out as well. But I'm about to go ahead and end this video. But uh, if you have any questions regards to the speaker or any of my other videos, if you could just drop a comment, I'll do the best I can to try to answer any of your questions. And just want to say thank you again for helping me re reach a thousand subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough for everything. So until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.